thankful for all of you. Um, yesterday when we found out that one of Justin's grandparents passed away, it wasn't like a surprise. Like we knew it was gonna be coming probably pretty soon here, um, but we just needed the night to kind of cope with it. But Justin is at peace with that. He's doing a lot better. He's actually at work again today. Um, he had an amazing first day, so I'm gonna let him tell you guys how it went when he gets home from work. But I am home today with these two little munchkins. They are missing Justin, mostly Bo, so much I tweeted about it. Look how cute you guys are. Are you playing? I'm telling you guys, Mr. can hold his own, so this is fine. But anyways, I think I'm actually going to run to the P.O. Box. I haven't been in a few weeks and see if um, there's any letters from you guys. Head there and maybe make one more stop on the way back to get somebody something because somebody's birthday is this week but we'll see i think he deserves a little special treat okay i found a few things for Bo for his birthday i don't know if i'm gonna give them to him today but he broke his frisbee so a new frisbee a toughy toy and a little chew stick his birthday is on friday and this is his birthday not the day i adopted him but his actual like one year birthday we bought like a cake a dog cake and one other thing, I think a cake toy, but I'm gonna have these, it's gonna be like his birth week. Our dog is literally so spoiled. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one who spoils their pets. I know when Bo's birthday is, I know when Mr's birthday is, or when we adopted him at least. So I can't be the only one. I know you guys do it too. Don't judge me for celebrating my dog's birthday. But yes, we did buy a cake for him. That's like a dog cake. And we bought a little, um, little cake looking toy for him and now another toy and I think I'm gonna give him that little treat and frisbee early just because he's so cute and I can't resist man we have to keep our house so dark in order to keep it cool in here but look what I got for someone <gasps> look what I got for you can you sit this is my may actually take you a while to finish so good luck with you enjoy I'll give you some treats too, buddy. <laughs> These are gonna stay in here until Friday. Also, this is the, where is it? The little cake toy I got him for his birthday. <laughs> and this is the cake I got him. I actually found it on clearance at Target yesterday. So hopefully he likes it. I mean, I'm sure he's going to. We'll try and maybe give some to Mr. I'm sure he'll like it. Hey, stay away from my food. I also just got off the phone and I finally found a pediatrician for Emma, which is like a big deal because we've been looking and then we finally found one and then found out she's retiring during the summer so we wouldn't be able to see her and all of our insurance issues, it was like a problem. But I finally found her pediatrician and she has, a f I have a couple people who recommended her to us. So hopefully um, it's good. She's accepting new patients and everything. So I'll see her after Emma's born, three to five days after she's born, they said. They set aside like the special appointments for that so that's good but i think i'm going to try and take a nap i told you guys yesterday i've been having a hard time trying to take a nap like i just my body won't sleep but i'm gonna attempt it today it's like 100 something outside really hot and it's making me tired so i'm gonna attempt to take a nap he's taking my pillows though because he wants to lay down right here photo instead of a video good morning guys look we can do this to my hair now. I am trying to grow it out for my sister's wedding, but right after it's getting cut again. I don't know. Cause I don't know, I miss like being able to do braids with it, but like, I don't know. And I think my face shape is weird for short hair, but I don't know, it, it, it's it's been nice to like, not have to take care of it as much with washing and stuff. Hope, leave it. Leave it, buddy. <sighs> um, but we're outside because we are waiting for um, the person who does the electric fence for um, her to, or for the person to, hi, Hopi. Hi! Oh, oh, okay, good. It's right up here. And we can pet the poopies. Hi, poopy. Hi, Hopi. Hi, your face. Hi! Oh, yeah, she knows I had a rough day yesterday. It was pretty, I don't know, it was just bad mood, I guess. But 
I think it's this freaking weather with all this uh, uh, weather. I need to um, work on yesterday's vlog because I didn't I need to film. work on yesterday's video because I didn't even film yesterday. But um, I'll do that later. I want to film this one right now. But anyway, we're... Um, I need tissue. We're waiting outside because the electric fence company is coming. And I know people have differences of opinion on that. But, you know, I need to do what would keep me safe and what would keep Hope safe. And it's not realistic for me to take her out on a leash um, to go to the bathroom. And just because I just can't do it. <laughs> um, and especially with my mom going back to work in another month. Um, I need to hopefully be potty trained this little one. Um, the trainer is going to help us with that. We're going to teach... Well, we've been trying to teach her the bell system. trying to teach her the bell system. Um, but... I, I don't know. I just, it's challenging. And then I get upset because that makes me think that she doesn't know anything, but she really is smart. Hey, leave it. Um, and she's a good girl. Yeah, you looking at the car? That's okay. You can look at the car. Yeah. She's just walking around. But, uh, yeah, we're just waiting for that person to come. And plus, it'll also be... Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, my God, it's raining. Well, like, not horrible, but, like... No dirt. Hope, leave it. No. See, and this is the problem, because... Oh my god, it started raining on me. So like, I'm so confused. So, I posted in the group that um, Hope's litter is in. Like, the breeder or somebody had made a group and shared it and invited me to go in um, for her litter. And I posted in there this morning about, Hey, how's potty training going for everyone? And, um, yeah, you think anybody has written back to me yet? Uh, no. But, like, six people have liked the post. Or, wait, maybe six people have seen it. I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know how groups work like that. But, anyway. Um, but, like, really? Like, nobody's written back, so it... Makes me feel like that she's the only one that potty trained, and it's really freaking sad. Even though I know that's not the case, because I don't, I don't know, guys. I, I just, I don't know. I feel like I am never gonna get her potty trained. Um, and you know, it's not even. See, this is what kind of the the bad day was about yesterday, was that I was frustrated that she's not potty trained yet, and my mom's like, well. Um, you know, she'll get there, we'll, you know, we'll get her there and stuff like that, but, like, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's hard, because I want to keep, like, I want to move on, and, you know, everybody always tells me, oh, she's so smart, she's so smart, well, if she's so smart, then how come she's not potty trained yet? I don't know. Like, she was doing good on the electric collar, like, the electric fence collar today, um, I think, for the most part. That's what the guy said. He was only here for a few minutes, but I don't know. We'll see. I just, I wish I could fast forward like six months from now and see what we're doing. And then that would just put my anxiety so much at ease because I don't, like, I don't want to be doing the wrong thing. You know what I mean? But then again, what is the wrong thing and what is the right thing? Because there's so many darn opinions out there. Like, what do you, what do you, like, how do you, how do you do that? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. 
it's just it's hard like that like this is the one thing that I never thought would happen I never thought that I would have more anxiety getting a dog but it's like it's not even the this like it's so weird because I've had dogs before I have dogs now and I'm not nearly as anxious with them as I am with Hope I think it's just because I've wanted a dog for so long that it's like I don't know 